I bet you're wondering what the top six neighborhoods in Whitefish are. Well, this video will be all about those top six. Hi, my name is Angie Friedner. I'm with Montana Life Realty Team. And today we're gonna to show you some videos about Whitefish and the surrounding neighborhoods. Whitefish is an amazing place to live. We personally live here and we have golf courses here. We have private, uh, a private golf course. There's Whitefish Lake. There's some more, uh, there are some smaller surrounding lakes. Uh, we have hiking, boating, fishing. There's just all sorts of things to do here in Whitefish. So we look forward to showing it to you. As you can see, the ski re resort is behind me. It's called Whitefish Mountain Resort and Whitefish Lake is behind me as well. Today we're going to start out with the Creekwood neighborhood. The first neighborhood we're going to tour in Whitefish is called Creekwood. Creekwood is located on the southeast side of town and it is located within walking distance to the brand new Muldown Elementary, the Whitefish High School, and Whitefish Christian Academy. Creekwood is also very close to the Whitefish River and access to the hiking and biking trail that follows the river through Whitefish. This neighborhood was started in the early 2000s and all of the homes located here are very nice and well taken care of. Most of the houses here have great views of the surrounding mountains and that makes Creekwood always in high demand and one of the most popular neighborhoods in Whitefish. Our next neighborhood is Iron Horse. Iron Horse is located on the hill just below the Whitefish Mountain Resort and it looks over the town of Whitefish and Whitefish Lake. The community wraps around Iron Horse Golf Club, which is a private club that was designed by Tom Fazio. The course is over 7,000 yards from the championship tees, and the club also has a clubhouse with a swimming pool, tennis courts, and a restaurant. There are walking trails around the neighborhood, and at the top there is a fishing pond. There are still single-family home sites available, and there are private cabins that are available along the golf course. Iron Horse is nationally known for the golf course and the spectacular views from all corners of this neighborhood. Another great whitefish neighborhood that's known to the locals as the Avenues is an area that is directly east of downtown. It is bordered on the north by East 2nd Street and on the south by 7th Street and it goes all the way over to the school area just off of Pine Avenue. This is a very desirable neighborhood in Whitefish because of the location. Downtown Whitefish and all of the schools are very close and within a short walk. The neighborhood is also very easy to get in and out of by car since you do not have to drive through downtown or over the viaduct to access this part of Whitefish. This Whitefish neighborhood is probably best known for being ground zero of Halloween every year. Most homeowners in this neighborhood go all out with decorations to prepare for the onslaught of trick-or-treaters that flock to this neighborhood every October 31st. The next whitefish neighborhood we're going to tour is called Grouse Mountain Estates. Grouse Mountain Estates is one of the few gated communities in Whitefish. It sits high above the Whitefish Lake golf course and it has spectacular views of the golf course surrounding mountains and you can look all the way into Glacier National Park to the east. Whitefish Lake Golf Club is a 36 hole public facility and the clubhouse has a very nice restaurant inside and a great deck outside where they serve dinner during the summer. Grouse Mountain Resort also sits at the bottom of this subdivision and it too has a restaurant inside and there are tennis courts that can be used next to the resort. All of these amenities are a quick walk from this neighborhood. For our next neighborhood, we head north of downtown and over the railroad tracks to the City Beach neighborhood. This is another very desirable neighborhood in Whitefish because it has great access to the beach, the river, the ice rink, and the bike paths. Downtown Whitefish is also a short walk back over the railroad tracks from the City Beach neighborhood. The tree-lined streets in this area are filled with nicely maintained homes and an active community of homeowners. The City Beach has a public boat landing, a dock, and an ice cream shop that is open in the summer. The beach is a very popular spot and it is also home to the fireworks display on 4th of July every year.
And finally, the last Whitefish neighborhood that we'd like to show you is called Whitefish Hills. This community is located outside of town on the west side of Whitefish. This is a huge subdivision that is over 2,000 acres, and all of the lots here are at least 10 acres, many of them much larger. This neighborhood can be accessed by Highway 93 on the north and south end. It also allows horses, and there are trails throughout this neighborhood. This neighborhood also borders Blanchard Lake, and there is a community park along Blanchard Lake that has a dock and a gazebo that can be used all summer long. If you're looking for country living close to town, this is a great neighborhood. We hope you enjoyed our tour of our favorite whitefish neighborhoods. Thank you for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so next time a video comes out you will be notified. Our information is on the screen so please contact us at any time and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.